are shared with anyone what God has done in your life. The question is today, how can that be? Our family don't know what God has done in our life. You haven't shared with them the testimony that you have. You haven't shared with them the change that God brought about in your life. So they don't know where you stay. When will you testify? You have people in your family who are dying. You have people in your family who have fallen by the wayside and you will not say, hey, let me talk to you. Come over here. Let's have a conversation. I want to share with you what God has done in my life because I've been looking at you. I've been watching you. You've been in my spirit and God told me to share something with you. Yet, accepted him in your life. Well, let me share this. Ever since I have accepted him in my life, God has turned my life all over. They don't know nothing about me. I'm not talking about you got to go around every day 24-7 speaking in tongues. But people ought to be able to detect that God is in your life. You something about you a Christian. You're too quiet to be a Christian. Christians are not quiet. Christians are noisy. Come on, let that tradition come out of you. People don't know your relationship with God because you don't even act like a Christian. Don't nobody say nothing to me today. That ain't no Christian attitude. Don't speak to me this morning. I got up on the wrong side of the bed. That's not a Christian attitude. But you have sisters and brothers. They know you go to church, but they don't believe you no Christian because you haven't told them. You haven't told your aunts and your uncles. You never shared your testimony with your brothers and your sisters. You never told them how you feel about the Lord. They just know you go to church, but they don't know anything else after you go into church because you have never testified. Why are you shame about what God has done for you? If he brought you in on the street, tell it. If he delivered you from drinking, if he delivered you from smoking, if he delivered you from home money, tell it. Why is it a secret? Tell the truth. What has he done for you? same level you was on five four two one year ago you this should be a graduation I I done graduated in my faith this year my faith is at a level where my faith has never been God has increased my anointing my wisdom my knowledge every year you should be graduating not sitting in one spot not still having the same mindset Paul said therefore if any man be in Christ if any man be in Christ he or she is a new creature all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We shouldn't have the same attitude, the same mindset that we had before we came into the church. It's sad to say that people came into the church and they're still the same way that they were before they came into the church. Same way. No, no change. No, no different. they still the same. I'm going... Worst thing you could ever do in life is flunk out of church. When you flunk church, you flunked. God gives you an ex. What are you doing for ministry? How are you helping? Tell me this. How are you helping ministry? What God has put in you, how are you helping to advance the ministry? Today's message is, he told me to ask you a question. When will you testify? Look at somebody and ask them, when will you testify? When will you testify? First John 1 John 1.3 That which we have seen and heard we report also to you. That which we have seen and heard, we report also to you. So, here's the question. Are you a Christian? 
Ask somebody, help somebody, but ask them, are you a Christian? You need to know, are you a Christian? What makes you a Christian? How are you going to be a Christian and you don't know what makes you a Christian? What makes you a Christian? I'm asking y'all a question. I'm talking to you all. I'm talking to those of you over here. And I'm talking to those of you over there. And I'm talking to those of you over here and by yonder, round the way. What makes you a Christian? You just said you're a Christian. So what makes you a Christian? Are you a disciple? What makes you a disciple? Why would you want to be a Christian? But don't want to testify for him. Why would you want to be a Christian? But you don't want to testify. You don't want to testify for him. People don't know where you stand. Because you never testify to them. You never testify to them what God has done in your life. They don't know if you save or unsaved. They don't know if you're born again or unborn again. They don't know nothing about you because you have not told them yet. You have not shared with them what God has done in your life, if he's done anything to you. What's taking you so long to talk or to testify? It's hard to get people to testify. You can say, we're going we're gonna to open up the, right now for people to testify and, and everybody will be looking at everybody. Who gonna get up first and who gonna testify? So you say that you are a Christian, but you never told anyone or shared with anyone what God has done in your life. The question is today, how can that be? Our family don't know what God has done in our life. All they know, they just remember you from the last time. They remember the last stuff you used to do. You haven't told them anything else different. As far as they know, you you still doing what you used to do. Because you haven't told them any different. You haven't shared with them the testimony that you have. You haven't shared with them the change that God brought about in your life. So they don't know where you stand. When will you testify? You have people in your family who are dying. You have people in your family who have fallen by the wayside and you will not say, hey, let me talk to you. Come over here. Let's have a conversation. I want to share with you what God has done in my life. Because I've been looking at you. I've been watching you. You've been in my spirit and God told me to share something with you. Have you yet accepted him in your life? Well, let me share this. Ever since I have accepted him in my life, God has turned my life all around. They don't know nothing about that. Because you haven't testified. How can you be a Christian when you don't even know how to act like a Christian? You don't even, you don't even carry yourself like a Christian. I, I, I'm not talking about you got to go around every day 24-7 speaking in tongues. But people ought to be able to detect that God is in your life. Now, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. You talking about you a Christian. You're too quiet to be a Christian. Christians are not quiet. Christians are noisy. Come on, let that tradition come out of you. People don't know your relationship with God because you don't even act like a Christian. Don't nobody say nothing to me today. That ain't no Christian attitude. Don't speak to me this morning. I got up on the wrong side of the bed. That's not a Christian attitude. So Barbara, when I call you on the phone, ring a ring a ring. How you gonna answer that phone to me, Barbara? But do you always say that, Barbara? Well, what's the other thing you would say? Hello? And I would say, excuse me? And she said, hold on, Papa, let me try this again. Praise the Lord. I said, okay. (laughs) 
it don't mean that, understand this, I'm trying to show her the right way, but it don't mean that every time you ask the phone, Jesus, 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 Jesus. But how many of you know sometimes you can dial the, or somebody can dial your number and when you answer the phone and you say, praise the Lord, they say, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong number. Because they know they're not calling no Christian. <laughs> they know who they're calling and got no Lord in them at all. Am I, am I talking here? They know this. But you have sisters and brothers. They know you go to church. But they don't believe you no Christian. Because you haven't told them. Have you? You haven't told your aunts and your uncles. You never shared, you never shared your testimony with your brothers and your sisters. You never told them how you feel about the Lord. They just know you go to church. But they don't know anything else after you going to church because you have never testified. Charity starts at home. So how can you be a Christian? You don't even know how to act. People watch you. Understand this. Understand this. There's not just one way that we fail God. We fail God in many ways. I constantly ask myself every day, am I doing enough for the kingdom of God? Am I really doing enough? What more, what more God is it? What more do you, what more do you want me to do? Because I need to know, am I, am I, am I actually doing enough? So when I say, when will you testify, understand that, the word testify means, the, the word testify means tell the truth. It's the same as being a witness. Look at somebody and tell them whatever God has done for you. Come on, look at somebody and tell them whatever God has done for you, tell the truth. Be a witness. Be a witness to that. Yeah, I got a testimony. Uh, the Lord woke me up this morning. Close me in my right mind. Yeah, we know all that. Tell us a little bit more. That shouldn't be everybody's testimony. Tell us, come on. You ought to be done matured by now. You should be grown up by now. Come on, come on. Oh, he gave me a, 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 a mind to run on. To see what the end going to be. We already know that too. Come up with something else. I know he done done more for you than that. He done done a whole lot more for you than that. And sometimes what he done done for you, you don't want to tell nobody because you shame to tell them. Why are you shame about what God done done for you? If he brought you in off the street, tell him. If, you, if he delivered you from drinking, if he delivered you from smoking, if he delivered you from hormone, tell it. Why is it a secret? Tell the truth. What has it done for you? Why people don't know that? You haven't even told them. Yeah, I go to church. But you come short from saying, I'm saved and sanctified. Filled with the Holy Ghost. You, you come short, you won't go that far. You say, that's deep. But I go to church. Because we feel like if I say I go to church, they going to get the picture. No, no, we don't want them. We don't, we don't want them uh, uh, seeing what they want to see. We're going to let's give them the fact. This is what God has done for me, sister. Listen to me. Let me share this with you. Let me share with you the transformation, sister, that has happened in my life, cousin. I got to share this with you. I don't want there to be any doubts in your mind of where I am, who I'm walking with. Come on, because understand this. People, if you don't soon share with them, they're going to offer you the last thing you left. You want to you wanna hit? You want to sip? Sip ain't going to hurt you. Sip never hurt nobody. 
Come on here. Come on. They're going to keep trying to, they're going to keep trying to bring to you the last thing they remember you doing. Think about it. Think about it. You want a buds? Why, sir? Come on. So understand this. When it comes to you and somebody call your name, somebody ought to say, ain't, ain't no need to go, ain't no need to go there try to bring that stuff to them. Cause they, they done changed their life around. They, they you better not do that. You might get fussed out uh, 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 going over there with that. But if they try to say, look, go on over there, yeah, 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 yeah. Go on over there and hit cuz, see what's up. Because you haven't testified. See, the reason why people do that kind of stuff because they don't know where you stand. Are you street street? They still think that you the same street street. So when you testify, you, you tell, testify means to tell the truth. Testify is, is, is same as, as, as a witness. So in the church, it means you stand up and you tell your testimony when and how God saved you. Come on. That's what it means to testify. Or you testify about something that had, may have happened in the week before that you knew God was a part of. You knew, you, you knew that it was a hand of God. You, you, you knew it. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't testify. But, but, but we want God to keep on. Come on, come on. Do something else for me. Come on, come on now. Come on, you bless me some more. But you, but you, but you're not, you're not giving him the glory. You're not giving him, you're not giving him the praise for what he has already done. See, one thing you, you gotta do, you gotta learn how to get, get past people. I don't want nobody to know. You think the devil is happy that you you understand this? You may not be where you may not be where you want to be, but you definitely not where you were. So you think the devil is happy that you even got what you got? He want that. He want all of that. He wants you. He want to get you in a place where he can just wipe you totally out. That's why people are weak. They don't come to church. This is where you're going to find. This is where you're going to find your strength. How you going to find strength out there away from where the power, away from where the anointing is? That's where you get your strength from. See, when you come here, you already know, look, oh, I, oh, my week is already set. Oh, yeah, I'm starting the week all right. Oh, I'm getting through the week. No doubt about it. Understand this. When will you testify? Witnessing is a vital part of your Christian life. The Bible teaches us that the believer will desire to share, that the believer will desire to share with others what God has done for him. If you read, if you read John 4 and 28 through 30, John 4, 28 through 30, read that, read that, read that. Because you witnessing is a part of your Christian life. You witnessing. We, we, we're not witnessing enough. We're not witnessing. We're not sharing with people. We're not telling people. Did you not know that God, watch this, this is serious, that God commands you and he empowers you to be a witness for him? Matthew 4 and 19. That he commands you and empowers you to be a witness for him? Understand this. Every time you give your testimony, it may not always be accepted. Or people may not always want to receive it, but you still give it. Do you understand that? They, they, will, they will understand that. They will think about it later. It'll come back to them later what you said to them or what you shared to them. See, you don't get tired. Well, I'm not going to tell my testimony because I know they don't want to hear it. Somebody needs to hear what you got to say. So God's not continuing to keep bringing these people across your pathway and you're not saying anything to them. Those of us who have family members living, think about this. 
you ain't never talked to them before. You never test, you never shared with them what God done in your life. You live with them and they don't know. Because you never told them. You never shared it. See, it would be unfair to CJ if Rachel don't share with him what God has done in her life. And it would be unfair to Rachel if CJ don't share with her what God has done in there. Understand this. They can get married and live together for the next 50 years and still never share with God. They don't know. I didn't know we got together. But you don't know my testimony. See, people see the glory. But they don't know the story. Because understand this. Nobody can tell the story like you. You got to tell the story. Mama, come here, Mama. Let me, let me talk to you. Mama, have I ever shared with you what God done in my life? How I got to where I am now? No, no, sweetheart. You never told me that. You sure I never told you? You told me nothing. <laughs> All you know is you got a brother or a sister that's, that, that, that goes to church. But have you ever said, hey, can I ask you a question? Do you have a testimony? See what they say. And if they say, yeah, girl, do you treat? Yeah, I got a testimony. Can you share with me some of your testimony? I'm interested to know how did you get to where you are now in the Lord? You will be amazed what comes out of that conversation. Y'all been knowing each other for however long, but don't nobody know your testimony? I'm not saying, listen, listen, see, get past this myself. I ain't telling all my business. Nobody asks you to tell your business. How did you come to Christ? Can you tell me that? What led you to Christ? Where were you at? What, 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 where were you at before you came to Christ? What got you to Christ? What has happened in your life since you came to Christ? I'm a Christian, but I don't want to testify. But I'm a Christian, but I don't want to talk about him. I don't want to tell what he did for me. Well, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed about where he brought you from. Tell it. Somebody needs to, somebody is going through something right now that needs to hear it. The more you share your testimony, the more people are going to receive deliverance. You got to share it. Because through your sharing it, some type of transformation is going to happen. They may come back to you a month later, a year later, six months later, and say, you know what you shared with me six months ago? I was really at my bottom and really going through it. When you shared that with me, it just did something to me. Ever since then, it seemed like God has really been blessing me. Things that really got on track for me. But if I never share it, how can I be a Christian and I don't want to testify? Do you know how it made God feel when he said, testimony service is over. And then the, the person that's standing up here said, don't nobody have a testimony. Nobody don't have nothing to say about the Lord. Well, I guess I'll say something. You guess you'll say something. You guess you'll say something. At the three appeals, you guess you'll say something. If you got to think about it, if you got to analyze on if I'm going to say something for the Lord, that's like me standing up here this morning and saying, I ain't got nothing to say about the Lord. You ain't got to ask me, prophet, are you going to worship today? Are you serious? This is my second worship service. I had devotion this morning. The more I testify for him, the more he See, I have to show him, wait a minute, this is the relationship.